Hi friends! Welcome back. I'm Melissa. So today I'm going to be doing a wrap-up video for you. We're going to talk some books because I have not shared my thoughts on these books in quite a while. Um, some of these I have read back in March, I want to believe, I want to say. So it's been quite a while since I have actually done a wrap-up video. So I have quite a few books to talk about. I have, let's see, I have Five physical books, two books that I don't actually own, but I have read. Um, so we're going to talk about those. And then I also wanted to share with you some books that I am currently reading. Because I am currently reading, not as often, but I'm also doing a lot of audiobooks now. But I am currently reading. So, so yeah, if you're interested in this video, stay tuned and let's get into this. So, of course, let's start off with the books that I have already read, um, and let me share you my, uh, tell you my thoughts on these. Um, now, I have read these quite a while ago, so I'm going to try to remember details, um, but we're going to get into this. So, the first one is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I read this back in March, and I love this story. I loved Simon and, uh, what's her name? Emily. I love their characters. I really thought they were very good characters. Um, so it's, this one follows a rent fair and, um, it's, it's so cute. Honestly, I don't want to tell, tell you a whole lot of like what it's about because I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's adorable. It, if you like, like romance books, but like cutesy romance books, um, I don't even know how to explain it, cutesy romance. Um, but if you like books kind of like that, I would definitely recommend this. I love this one. I think I gave it, let's see what I did, what did I give it? It says I gave it five stars. Um, it was so cute. It flowed really well. Um, I really did enjoy the story of it. It was kind of like um, enemies to lover type uh, of a romance novel. So I really did enjoy it. Um, yep, gave it five stars. I'm sorry if I don't really go into too much details because some of these books I don't really remember um, like a whole bunch of details about them. Just know I enjoyed them and they're really good. So the next one is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. This book took me quite a while to get through, but I, in the end, I really enjoyed it. I did think it was a little slow in the beginning, um, only because it was building the story, which is fine. I mean, you got to build the story somehow. Um, but I really did enjoy the ending to it, um, I think it was kind of a different kind of ending, an ending that you weren't expecting, um, but thoroughly enjoyed it, um, really love the characters, um, I love the snarky attitude of the male character, and he's kind of an ass sometimes, but I really loved him, I don't know why, but, um, and then of course the main character, she was just, she was a good character too, I liked her. Um, so, so yeah, really enjoyed this book. Um, according to my Goodreads, I gave it five stars. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't really have anything to say bad about it. It was really good. I did really enjoy it. And I'm really looking forward to the second book in this series, which I should see. That's probably out by now. I would think it is. Um, but still really enjoyed it. Really good book. Cute. Another cute romancy type book. If you really enjoyed that, um, that kind of stuff. So the next book I am going to, the next two books are two books that I don't actually own, but they are in the same series. So it's uh, Talon by Julie Kagawa. I think that's how you say it. Kagawa, Kagawa. I think it's Kagawa. So I read the uh, Talon and then I read Rogue kind of really close together. I listened to them on audiobook. Love the audiobook. It is a full cast audiobook. Um, so it has different char characters narrating it. So it's really nice. Um, especially if sometimes you have a hard time not being able to catch like what character they're talking about. Um, so it's really nice having different voices for each character. Um, so the first book actually follows a girl who is called a sleeper dragon. Um, so um, I guess in this world there are dragons and um, so it follows a young girl who is training to eventually take her place in this society 
of dragons, but they hide in with the humans because um, if the humans knew that there were dragons in the world, they might go crazy. Um, but there's also this other organization called St. George where they actually hunt dragons. Um, they have hunted dragons for years and so they go and hunt the dragons and try to basically wipe them out of extinction. extinction. Um, so there's a lot going on in these books. Um, so it follows a teenage girl and kind of trying to discover herself and discover like what she's supposed to do for the organization and then like if she belongs there and stuff. It's actually a really good series. Um, the second one is called Rogue and it just, it picks up right where the story leaves off and it's just so good. Like, it's really good. Um, definitely recommend them. I gave them both four stars. Um, I think there was some slow spots and stuff. I mean, they weren't like amazing, amazing books, but they're still really good. I really enjoyed them. Um, so yeah, definitely check those ones out. Um, Talon by Julie Kakala gave them both four stars, Talon and Rogue. Very good books. Really enjoyed them. So the next, uh, book that I had completed is Undercover Bromance by Alyssa K. Adams. I give this one five stars. I love the Bromance book club series. Um, the first one and this one, I just love them both. I loved so this one follows Mac. If you've read the first book, then you know which character he is. Um, so this one follows Max, and then the first, um, Liz, the sister of the, um, the girl in the first book. Um, so it follows them in kind of like their journey. And I think in this one, I love Mac as a character. And I really feel like he grows so much in this book. Um, just overall, like you know, everything. He just grows so much as a character. So I really love him. And I same with, with Liz's character or Liv is character. Um, they just grow so much. And like in this book, there's just so much development to it. It does have a little bit heavier topic. It does, um, talk about sexual harassment in this book. Um, so if that's a trigger for you, um, do know there is sexual harassment in this book. So it does have a little bit heavier topic, topic but there's still like the romance and stuff in it um it is um detailed a little bit sometimes in the sexual part so if you're not into that so just be aware um there is some a little bit more details when they're you know having sex or whatnot but uh, overall it was a really cute story i really loved this one loved it i think i gave it five stars let me double check and make sure yep i did give it five stars i love the first one and this one and just i can't wait for the next one honestly i cannot wait i'm so curious to see which one what character they're going to follow on the next on the third one super excited for that then i also read aurora rising by amy kaufman and jay kristoff um, this book, it follows a girl who, um, left Earth, like, I want to say, how many years ago? Like, 350 years, like, she's been in, in, um, uh, I think it's, like, so many years. She's been in, like, this, um, what do they call it? What do they call it? Um, I can't even remember what they call it. But she's been, you know, in one of those sleep pods where... They put stasis. There we go. Uh, she's been in stasis for so long. Um, so when she wakes up, she has no idea what's going on. She's supposed to be at this colony. And she gets thrown together with, with this band of kind of like misfits. Um, and they kind of create this squad, 312. And they travel through space to try to unlock some, um, basically her existence and how she was the only survivor on this ship. Um, of, I forget how many souls. It was a lot of souls. Um, so, so yeah, it's very interesting. It's so good. I did really enjoy the audiobooks to it. It's kind of almost reminds me of the Illuminate file audiobooks. Um, so there is, I think it was a full, yeah, it's a full cast audiobook as well. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I love this series. I can't wait to continue on. I haven't been able to continue on yet, but I can't wait to continue on. It's such a good series. Um, and definitely recommend if you, especially if you love sci-fi, um, this one's definitely a five-star book. I don't even have to look because I know it was a five-star book because I loved it that much. <laughs> 
So definitely check that one out if you like sci-fi and stuff like that. So the last book that I have to mention is Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This book, I tell you, perfect ending to this series. I loved it. Um, it was it was so good. I'm not really going to tell you a whole lot because this is the third book in the series. But if you haven't heard, which I'm assuming you probably have because this book is very popular. But it follows June, who is a human in this world of fairies. And fairies hate human. Um, but she has to, like, pretty much earn her place in this world. And it's a very cruel world that she lives in. Um, so it's it follows her and her twin sister. And it's so good. It's very dark almost at times it's very dark but it's just such a good series and I love this last one I really think it ended very well at least in my opinion um but very much enjoyed it it took turns that I was not expecting and yeah it's oh, so good so good um so yeah I definitely definitely love this one so I can't wait for the other book that she has coming out for this series and I think it's like um it's supposed to be like from Cardin's perspective I cannot wait for that one to come out because I love this series so much it's such a good series so definitely re recommend this especially if you love fairies and fey people and all that other good magical stuff such a good series so those are the books that I have recently read and finished over the last four or five months <laughs> now let's get into the books i'm currently reading so the first book i am currently reading i am actually listening to this one this massive chunky book on audiobook it is crescent city by sarah j mass house of earth and blood so i am listening to this one on audiobook however i don't feel i don't feel right listening to it in front of my boys so i haven't been listening to it as often as i would like um but I have been listening to it um, when I can. So I am right now, I'm not very far into it. I'm about 145 pages. Um, so I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm that far into it. That's how far I'm doing on it. But I'm really enjoying it. The story is starting to pick up a little bit because it was kind of hard to get into at first. Um, but it's starting to pick up a little bit more and starting to get interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's going to take me a while to get through this massive book. And I, like I said, I only listen to it when I don't have my boys right with me. Because there's a lot of swear words in this. And they say the F word a lot. A lot. So, just warning you. Um, well, it would, that would be about true. Because this is an adult book. Just so you know. It's not a young adult. But I am really enjoying it so far. So, so yeah. Um, and then the other one I am reading, I'm actually, I take this one with me to work and I read it on my lunch break. It's called The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. And um, this one follows four different lives and they kind of entwine with each other. Um, and it takes place in Alaska. So I just started this. I'm not very far into it. I'm 19 pages into it. Um, so, I mean, it's okay so far. Um... Honestly, I don't know if this is a book that I would have picked up. Um, this is our book club pick, just so everybody knows. Um, this one, um, Becca picked. So, I don't really know if this is one I would have picked up and read on my own. But, I got it. I am reading it. So far, it's... I mean, it's not horrible, but it's also not... To me, not the greatest. But, I am reading that one. Um, that's my physical read and then I am reading one more audiobook as soon as I can get it back from the library and I'm reading Soldier by Julie Kakawa um, that is the third book in the Talon series so I am reading that one and I'm quite a ways into that book I'm pr pretty sure I'm probably a good 65 70 percent through that book um, thoroughly enjoying it it like I said, those books just like pick up right where they left off and they just flow so well. And I love the audiobooks because they're full cast. I really love full cast audiobooks. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that one. So that's the other one that I'm currently reading. 
So those are all the books that I have read recently and what I'm currently reading. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what books you have currently read or are reading. I love to chat with you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, um, especially if you're new and you would like to see more of my videos. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.